Joining me now is Ron Solomon. He's a partner and vice president at the Wix Group, a private equity investment firm. Ron's helps clients interact with U.S. federal agencies. Thank you so much for joining us. So why are Americans so split on whether uh, more trade with China would be a good thing? Well, uh, as you just alluded to uh, in that poll, uh, Americans uh, definitely have a negative view towards trade in China. Uh, part of that is one uh, we've seen over the last uh, two years with President Trump, which, which he's demonized trade with China during the campaign trail. He said that China was committing an economic assault on U.S. trade and uh, U.S. jobs and prosperity. He's also attacked the WTO and Chinese membership in the WTO and saying that that was a total disaster uh, for the United States. But more broadly, why is, why is this issue for the United States? Well, I, Americans seem, tend to have a misperception on the role of trade in their lives. Uh, so the, the benefits of trade are borne by everyone, but sometimes uh, uh, imperceptibly. So uh, in terms of consumer products that they might buy, uh, at the store, but the costs are borne by visible constituents. So if you're a steel worker in Pennsylvania, you, you lose your job, you're not going to think about that cheap washer that you bought at Walmart. So we've seen, um, you know, U.S. increasing trade tensions with China as of uh, just a few days ago with these tariffs. To what do you degree do you expect or do you think China would retaliate to that? Well, uh, it remains to be seen, but China wouldn't be the only person that would be retaliating or the only country. For right, they're down the list, actually. Exactly. So there's a number of options, right? So the first option is taking uh, reciprocal trade uh, tariffs. Uh, we see that with the European Union. It's threatening to take a very targeted approach, right? They're looking at uh, Levi Jeans, uh, which are the home base of which is Nancy Pelosi's hometown of San Francisco. They're looking at uh, uh, putting tariffs on bourbon uh, made in Kentucky, where Senator Mitch McConnell calls his home. Uh, they're also looking at Harley-Davidson, uh, the renowned uh, manufacturer of motorcycles, which uh, exists uh, in, is, is made in Wisconsin, where um, Speaker Paul Ryan uh, lives. So uh, you know, the first measure is potentially retaliatory action, a, a, a tit for tat. Uh, there's also the, the opportunity to go to the WTO uh, and have dispute resolution. The risk there is that uh, the way the, the administration and the, the White House has initiated this action is very rare, and it's important to note that invoking national security, which they've done through these so-called 232 investigations, opens a whole can of worms. And uh, the similar uh, international legal provision at the, uh, at the World Trade Organization, with its so-called Art Article 21, has never been tested. So if, for example, China or the European Union were to go to the WTO and say, hey, the United States is violating international law, uh, we, don't know the, we don't know how that, that outcome would be, but say that, that, that the WTO ruled against the, United, ruled against the Trump administration. Would they follow that ru ruling? And would countries similarly invoke national security, for example, on food imports from the United States? We know that the WTO has come out with a strong statement of concern uh, just a few days ago. About a minute left. How, we know how important China is to the United States uh, trade-wise, but how important is the United States to China on the flip side of that? Well, in regards to the steel and aluminum, very minor, for example. I mean, it's less than 0. I think, 5 percent of Chinese GDP as deal with steel and aluminum exports. And, and, and the United States takes a very small per percentage of that. But overall, the United States and China are linked at the hip here. And they, walking together, marching forward, is the only way to, to have global growth, which we've experienced over the, over the last year. I mean, we've seen, ironically, that the trade deficit between China and the United States has increased over the last year during Trump and the Trump administration, which must be painful for Mr. Trump because he's, he's attacked that trade deficit. But the reason for that trade deficit is because American prosperity, because the Americans have more money to spend on consumer goods that are coming from China. So there's a misperception on, on, on what our relationship truly is. All right, Ron Solomon, we appreciate your insight. Thank you so much for joining us.